Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda. Today we have with us Amber Carly Williams. <laughs> how you doing, Amber? Good. How nice are you? Nice to have you up here. How's your summer going? Very warm. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah I went to, went to Arrowtown a few weeks ago. So is it, you're from nice. Christchurch. Is it warmer yeah. or chillier down there than up here? Definitely colder. Not yeah. cold, but colder. It's hot up here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's what we were here for. Start sweating and having a good summer for a change. Uh, yeah. So you're up here for a gig at Big Fan, which is yeah. pretty exciting. Yeah. But, but by the time folks see this, that will be long gone. Um, and you're going to do a song for us, just a solo acoustic thing today. Yeah. But you're playing with a band. So, mm -hmm. so and you've been doing some gigs at festivals and things. What have you yeah, done? Yeah, I've been doing some shows down in Canterbury. Um, Played Rolling Meadows, which was over New Year's. Okay. And then South Island Wine and Food Fest, which is fun, and also did my headline show at right. Space Academy, which was in Christchurch. Right. Um, so yeah, that was like my first like proper show, right. which was cool to kind of get done. And so it yeah. makes these ones feel a bit more like. What was the hardest thing about getting through, getting it done, and getting through it? I think just the nerves. I'm not used to the nerves. Like right. I play live a lot as like a full time cover gigging musician. Right. Um, but it was like, this is, people have come here for me. <laughs> like, right, right, these are my songs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and to see like a full room, I think the nerves beforehand was like, is anyone gonna come? Yep. And then I start playing and it's like a full room and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't expect this. It's just overwhelming, <laughs> like a good overwhelming, but just like, yeah, well, very good. Just scary, but cool. And you have an EP out called yeah. 21 Roses, yes. which came out late last year. Yeah, November. Yeah, with what, like five songs on it? Yeah, yeah, so we did um, three singles and then from that, another five. Right. On the EP. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. And you got more plans to record uh, in 2024? Yeah, I've got some music already in the pipeline that's, you know, almost ready to go, which is exciting. Um, but it's just kind of figuring out the logistics of who I'm working with. And, uh, you know, I've got all these songs yep. written. It's right. just kind of what to do with them. So um, how many, how often do you write songs? Are you always writing or you have to set up time to do it? Not or how very it often. I feel like some people write a lot and then only use some of those songs, whereas I don't write very much, but I put a lot of energy into them. So right. I feel like I'm happy with a lot of what I write, which is a nice feeling, but um, I do want to be writing more just in terms of practicing. But yeah, I, I write like, maybe every month or couple of months. No, it, it really depends. It's like all gotcha. over, all over the show. And what got you thinking that you you could write? Was there an inspiration, somebody who helped you, I something you it, saw or heard? It was just like, I had a passion for music when I was really young, mm -hmm. um, just what, doing what, like guitar lessons, guitar lessons and um, just vocal lessons. I was really into um, pop <laughs> to right. start with. Um, yeah, because you said you were up here for pop stars a few years yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, that, so that was the last time I was here, 13 to 4. Yeah. Um, but I feel like I'm not as pop anymore. I've kind of developed, obviously, my sound. But uh -huh. songwriting wise, it just kind of was like, well, I'm playing music, I may as well write songs. So I did have a few mentors in Christchurch along the way. Oh, cool. Which All right. cool. Is yeah. it a supportive community down yeah, there? Yes, super supportive. Yeah. There's a lot of like fantastic musicians down there too. And Littleton is nearby, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and there's a big, there's a studio big scene, there. Yeah. And yeah. there's a really cool venue too, the Loons, which is where a lot of people come play. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like the venue. <laughs> ah, the venue. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now let's get down to business here. The song you're going to perform today is called 21 Roses, yes. right? Tell me about the song. Um, so mind. that song was the third single off of the EP, um, before the EP came out. And it's a song I wrote about my mum. It's quite personal. Uh -huh. So my mum passed when I was younger. Um, so it's kind of just like supposed to be a song that you can kind of listen to and imagine. Like there's a lot of imagery written, I feel, for the song. So I kind of just, this is just the kind of song I want people to close their eyes and just like imagine whatever they want to imagine. Um, yeah, when I, when I first got the mix back for it, I just closed my eyes and I just cried <laughs> and it was exactly what I wanted though. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. cause sometimes you get so stuck and like, are the sounds all right? And like, oh my gosh, there's a little mistake in there, yeah. but it's like, actually it just felt right. right. Well, and then I was you like, know I don't you change it. anything, you know? <laughs> if you're not so, worrying about the drum sound or exactly, the exactly. squeaky it's something like, or actually, other. Actually no, don't overthink it. It's good. Yep. I'm happy with it. Um, so it's a very personal song and I'm really happy with like the sounds in it and the tones because I'm a big Phoebe Bridges fan okay. and it kind of derived from listening to a lot of Phoebe Bridges oh, and that was cool. kind of my 
main inspiration for that song. Have you seen Phoebe perform? No, I was supposed to go to Laneway last year. Um, and she was going to be playing, yeah. but the floods. Yeah, yeah, the floods. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm One day. Sure. Sometime it will happen, I'm sure. All righty, very good. Well, thanks for coming up here on yeah. your day before your, just before your gig and all that. Thank good you luck with me. the show tonight, and uh, we'll listen to you doing 21 Roses. Sounds good. Forget most of 